Are you average? Many of us don't think so. Commonly known as a superiority bias or the above average effect, it is a well-known phenomena that people tend to rate themselves higher than others, whether it be in their own intelligence or their performance or skill sets. And it makes sense biologically. I mean, we need to think that we're good and capable. Otherwise, in the in the wilds of yore, when we're being hunted by saber-toothed tigers, we would be the ones that end up dead. And no one wants to think about that. Now, I'm not trying to get all psychological with this video, and I swear it relates back to video games, but I wanted to open up with this idea, with this thought, and with that question. Do you view yourself as average? Now, by definition, most of us are. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because with the games that I play and, and what I try to do on this channel is I, I take something that I'm interested in and I try to follow it closely and, and I try to get a good beat on what people are talking about, how the community's feeling. And the only way I can really do that is by reading things like forums and Reddit threads and seeing what people are talking about on social media, etc. And I think with the recent changes to ranked play, specifically these ranked tiers, as opposed to just the set number, it is fundamentally the same system, it's just being presented to us differently and in a different range. But we're playing the same games and, and we're going up and down similarly based on our performance. I think attaching these symbols, these tiers of bronze through grandmaster, I seem to have done a number on people. There's been a lot of threads and a lot of discussion about uh, people losing more rank than they're gaining, getting stuck in elo hell, people wondering what the percentiles are, like what rank is the average player, is it 2500, is it below 2500, lots of concern, lots of discussion, and I'm kind of here to say, take a chill pill, don't worry about it. Yes, at the end of the day, it's a video game, but it's more than that to us, we're passionate about these games, we enjoy them, and we want to do well, we want to perform well, and again, everyone's got a little bit of that superiority bias. We want to think that we're better than others. That's It's a natural thing and nothing to be ashamed of, again, unless you're kind of a dickhead about it, but it's, it's fine. Try not to fixate on what your rank is and try not to worry about whether or not it's above or below average. What I would suggest to people is work on enjoying the game first and foremost, but then improving your performance and play the best that you can play with whatever heroes that you're good at, whatever roles that you, you, you can fill and do well. Just having improvement, seeing yourself get better, there's satisfaction in that and that's a good thing in anything watching yourself improve, learn and grow and get better, it is something to be proud of. But whether or not you might be sitting right in the middle, slightly below or above the average player, it shouldn't concern you too much. And and also, being average isn't a bad thing, since most of us are average. Unless we just want to come out and say that most of us are bad, <laughs> which, you know, I'm sure a lot of people aren't as cynical and uh, cold-hearted to just come out and say, everyone who's average sucks. It's nothing to worry about it's nothing to fixate on and I just hope people kind of take the rating system with a grain of salt we're here playing video games because we like video games because we enjoy them we find them a fun way of spending our free time of getting together with friends of testing our uh, hand-eye coordination and skill on a digital playing field but don't wrap yourself into it so much that your own self-worth comes into question you're not any more or less of a person depending on where you rate on the grand scale of Overwatch players. You're, you're doing good just the way you are. <laughs> know what your strengths and weaknesses are in this game and in real life. Everyone has something that they're good at. Me? I don't know. I think I'm, I'm pretty good at DPS. I can be okay at healer. I know that I suck at tanks. I don't even... I, I'm trying, but I'm pretty bad when it comes to playing the tank role. I'm a bad Reinhardt. It makes me sad to say that, but I am. But again, even, even if I am a below average or just an average tank player, it's fine. In and this is a very, very soapboxy video, and I'm not trying to sit here and preach to people or anything like that, even though I, I, I'm self-aware, I realize this is what I'm doing. Uh, I just kind of wanted to talk about this topic and, and give my own thoughts and maybe some of what I'd consider insight. You know, because I'm of above average intelligence and people should listen to me. <laughs> There's that superiority bias kicking in. And yes, I did just learn that word. Google's a wonderful thing, so yeah educate myself. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for me here today as we talk about being average in this game in real life, whether or not it matters, how much you should focus on it, which is don't. Just enjoy your time, enjoy yourself, and have a good day. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a good afternoon, and until next time, I'll see you later.